Good morning and welcome to First Presbyterian Church Palo Alto. If this is your first time or you have been a member for a lifelong, you are most welcome and included in our worship service this morning. May each and every one of you feel a touch of the holy and the friendly through our worship service this morning. In preparation for our worship service, I would like to share a painting by Julian Dupree, as the painting is of God, the shepherd, gate, door, protector, peaceful presence through the demands of life that stretch both our imagination and our capacities. The good shepherd stands with, before, beside, in front, and behind the sheep caring, watching. Our gospel lesson today will use images of God like a good shepherd. Door, gate, Jesus says, I am. As we proclaim praise and guidance with this hymn sing Sunday, lifting every voice that sings, dancing with God, proclaiming new day blessings, remember, that Jesus is not just any shepherd, but a shepherd who is exceedingly, abundantly great at being a shepherd. Karen, can you lead us in our announcements this morning? Absolutely. Hello, folks. So Jane is remote today, and I will be helping to lead from the sanctuary. So we are a hybrid congregation, which means we have a couple of little guidelines for you. So for our Zoom folks, we are letting you know that the service is recorded and it will be uploaded on YouTube, Instagram, podcast, you know, it's on social media. Uh, we will be singing together. If you're on Zoom, please remain muted. And if you have any problems or questions, we have tech deacons on Zoom that are available by chat. So just ask for them and they'll be helping out with the service today. And for in-person folks, we prefer that you wear a mask if you are singing with us, which we're doing a lot of singing today. So please do remain masked, but we'd love to hear you sing. And um, we have these stickers to note our comfort levels. So green means happy to approach, you can hug, you know, get close. Yellow is like, yeah, we can do elbow bumps and stuff. Good to see you. Red kind of keep some distance. So just check people's stickers and do what they indicate they feel comfortable with. We are, you know, having our service today. We do have bulletins available. Um, we have bold readings. So when we have those, you're all invited to join with us. And we do have a section for prayers, though today I think we will be only offering names for prayers like we did before. And we do have communion, so we will be serving by intinction, or if you would prefer, we have a couple of little self-contained communion things that you can use for that. And if you're interested in keeping up with our events, we have a back of the bulletin that goes out every week on Thursdays, so you should subscribe to that. I believe we'll be sharing links in the Zoom chat if you're interested for how to get that, or you can find the information on our website. And that just has a lot of information about all these cool events that we do and it's just stuff about that's going on with the church. So you should subscribe to that. And we're also present. Oh my gosh. <laughs> my mic is going rogue. We're present on social media, so you can follow us in a lot of places. But we do have a couple special announcements. So today we are doing a hymn sing Sunday, as I mentioned, lots of singing. So we're not going to have a normal sermon, but we are going to be singing a lot of hymns that were suggested by members of the congregation, and it'll just be a fun time. So Andy's done a lot of great work putting this together, and we'll, you know, sing the Holy Spirit, and it'll be awesome. <laughs> uh, there's also a memorial service for Bill Norton on May 21st at 1 p.m. that'll be happening here in the sanctuary. So he is a longtime wonderful member of our church and of the choir, and we're actually going to be dedicating one of our choir anthems to him today because he always used to sing a solo for it, and it was so beautiful. So if you would like to join for the memorial service, you can get the details here and probably more info in the back of the bulletin. And um, 
we have this year. Great, we're gonna have Miss Charlotte share our moment for mission. Hello everyone, I'm Ms. Charlotte. I'm from the downtown food closet in, on Hamilton Avenue and I have been there seven years this, this month. Um, we have such an array of people that we, have, that we help and just this past Thursday alone, I signed up five new families and that was just Thursday, not including Monday, which I added four more and then Shirley's adding hers. So we're seeing a big, um, influx of people coming in in need for food and we're happy to be here to help everyone um not only to not only to nourish their families but to give them some type of sense of hope letting them know that it's okay we're here to help them anytime they need anytime they need anything and if you know anyone who needs any assistance please send them over and we're open from um, monday through friday from uh, we start serving at 10 a.m to 2 30 p.m and on thursdays only we're closed for uh, 12 to 1 p.m. for a mandatory meeting. Other than that, we love what we do and we take pride in what we do. So thank you for having me um, to come through again. It was, it's always been a pleasure. Cool. Thank you so much for coming to visit us, Ms. Charlotte, and we love the work that your organization does. And so Thanks. we are doing still our food baskets that is supporting the downtown streets team. So if you do have non-perishable food, please bring them to the baskets and you can also jo donate money to support their efforts because they're a really good organization. And if you would like to socialize with people after service, we always have a little bit of a coffee time here in person and in Zoom, you get to hang on and just chat with people too to catch up on life. So we love having that social time. So please hang out with us after worship and you can just go right into that. <laughs> All right. So we like to start our service with a centering time to take two minutes of silence to acknowledge the land that we're upon and to make space for God in your soul this morning. So please um, reflect while we have this time. Okay, now please join us in the call to worship. So as a bit of a switcheroo today, because Jane is remote, she will be leading the solo part, and then please join me in reading the bold lines. Praise the Lord. Praise God in the sanctuary. Praise God in the mighty firmament. Praise God for mighty deeds. Praise God according to God's surpassing greatness. Praise God with trumpet sound, with lute and harp. Praise with tambourine and dance with strings and pipe. Praise God with clanging cymbals, with loud clashing cymbals. Let everything that breathes praise the Lord. Our opening prayer this morning is a poem by the Sufi poet Hafiz. I wish I could speak like music. I wish I could put 
the swaying splendor of the fields into words so that you could hold truth against your body and dance. I am trying the best I can with this crude brush, the tongue, to cover you with light. I wish I could speak like divine music. I want to give you the sublime rhythms of this earth and the sky's limbs as they joyously spin and surrender. Surrender against God's luminous breath. Hafiz wants you to hold me against your precious body and dance. Dance. Amen. God is the good shepherd. God is our good shepherd. I have everything I need. As God's goodness and mercy follows us, so we turn to God in confession of our need for God in our lives. And so let us pray. Right, please join us. Creator. In confession and assurance. Jane will read that part and then join me in the bold. <laughs> Creator, we seek the transformative power of your grace that chastens, convicts, and challenges us to change. Make us new as Make you us new lead us you beside lead us. still waters, creating space to commune with those with whom we disagree. Our bitterness and resentment, jealousy and comparison, apathy and indifference liberally water us in grace that we would faithfully follow you amen let us take a moment for silent personal confession Transformation and new life wait. Waits for us on the other side of the process of growth. Through it all, God is with us. Alleluia. Thanks. Thanks be to God. Be to God.
May we now receive and offer the peace that Christ offers to us. The peace of Christ be with you. Now share it with one another. Hey Marjorie, who's your friend? Great to see everybody. Uh, my caregiver. Oh Thank wonderful. You know, wonderful. Love the pandas. Ella. Loved, oh wow. Thank you. Welcome to Charlotte. Good to see you. Is it a, Hi, Leela. I Good think it's a panda. Martha's, all of you, Martha's. <laughs> Hi, Leela. <laughs> Hi, Kelly. Nice Hi, Hi. Hi, Kelly. Hello, Leela. Hi, Joy. Hi, Jeff. Good morning. Hi, Hi Jeff. Ryan. Margaret Ann. <laughs> Hey, Martha. Martha Loesch, what is that? Well, customize your car insurance. Yes. Your <laughs> a kangaroo. Oh, I don't Good morning, nice Marjorie. Good morning, Margaret Ann. Good morning. Hi, Hi Susan I don't see you, but I hear you. wanted to dedicate this choral anthem canticle of the sun to bill norton he would always sing the fifth verse of this uh anthem as a solo so we're going to uh, leave that one out today in memory of bill
Amen and amen. Our reading today comes from the Gospel of John, chapter 10, verses 1 to 16. Very truly, I tell you, anyone who does not enter the sheepfold by the gate, but climbs in by another way, is a thief and a bandit. The one who enters by the gate is the shepherd of the sheep. The gatekeeper opens the gate for him, and the sheep hear his voice. He calls his own sheep by name and leads them out. When he has brought out all his own, he goes ahead of them, and the sheep follow him because they know his voice. They will not follow a stranger. 
but they will run from him because they do not know the voice of strangers. Jesus used this figure of speech with them, but they did not understand what he was saying to them. So again, Jesus said to them, very truly, I tell you, I am the gate for the sheep. All who came before me are thieves and bandits, but the sheep did not listen to them. I am the gate. Whoever enters by me will be saved and will come in and go out and find pasture. The thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. I came that they may have life and have it abundantly. I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. The hired hand who is not the shepherd and does not own the sheep sees the wolf coming and leaves the sheep and runs away. The wolf snatches them and scatters them. The hired hand runs away because a hired hand does not care for the sheep. I am the good shepherd. I know my own and my own know me. Just as the Father knows me and I know the Father, I lay down my life for the sheep. I have other sheep that do not belong to this fold. I must bring them also, and they will listen to my voice. So there will be one flock, one shepherd. The word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God.
as we come to our time of offering our hearts, our lives, and our dances to God, thank you for your time, talent, and treasure that makes First Presbyterian Church possible. You are the church, and you are the sheep through whom God blesses the community. Thank you for supporting this, your church. Thank you. 
We come now to our time of communing together this meal that makes us family, that gives us life. From the high praise of Psalm 148, which began our service, to the simplicity of appreciating a spring day, gorgeous walks, and spirit sails. We stop and commune with the Almighty God. We are a huge family with a little meal of simplicity, a bit of bread and a cup with which we recognize God Almighty among us and shepherd leading us. So let us pray. We thank you, Creator God, that you made each of us in your image and breathed into us the breath of life. When we turn away our love failing, you reach out to us again and again, providing healing, wholeness, and new life. When the floods came, when the floods come, you provide an ark. When the plagues come, you provide holy presence. When evening comes, you provide a pillar of light. When exile comes, you provide a new song. Through it all, your love remains steadfast. So we thank you, O God, for making us one with Christ. Pour out your spirit upon these simple gifts of bread and cup, that the bread we break and the cup we bless may be the communion of Christ. Amen. On the night of his arrest, our Lord Jesus took the bread, and after giving thanks to God, he broke it. And he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat. This is my body, broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, he took the cup, saying, Take and drink. Do this in remembrance of me. My friends, these are the gifts of God for the people of God. Praise be to God. Amen.
Let us pray. Oh God, you call us to the table. You call us into a community and you claim us as your own. You send us into the world to proclaim good news, to work for justice, to befriend the friendless, to offer compassion and patience and understanding. On this day, as we are surrounded by the beauty of music, we hear again your word proclaimed to us. We sing for joy and we are reminded of what joins us together and to you and to all humanity and even to this beautiful world in which we reside. And so, oh God, as we go out this day, strengthen us, empower us, and give us courage. In your name we pray. Amen.
Before we receive our benediction, I would like to thank Andy and the choir for leading our service of joy, of action, of voicing. May all of us just give them a joyful round of applause. <laughs> And now, with the Good Shepherd at our side, may we live the grace of our Redeemer Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit. Amen.